All right, guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy. We're in Crash 2. We're doing quite well. Three, three crystals, five gems, 11% through the game. No relics as of yet, but let's do the pits. And let's have some fun. Break locked boxes with a well-aimed body smash. Body slam. See, I didn't consider them locked boxes. I just considered them metal crates. Although, it does make sense because the ones that are just silver, those could be considered metal crates. So, all right. And this is just get a box gem. So, crystal, box gem, boom, we're done. Lots of, uh... That guy looked like he had a uh, half metal face. I'm gonna have to take a look at a bird again. Yeah, it totally looks like he has a half metal face or something. Oh, he does. He has like a helmet or something on. Doesn't save him though. Well, that did not work the way I was hoping. Now, does is this the level that has the split path? It does. Hmm. Let's go to the right first. Yeah. No, wait. Oh, I'm trying to remember this. It's the left. We want the left first. If I remember correctly, the left has the metal crate. The metal exclamation crate that you then hit to unlock live boxes on the right. Yep. Jeez, and how long ago was I? Did I play the, uh, the, um, the second game? Like, five years ago or something? Can't believe I remember that. But now we have to do stupid, stupid backtracking. Okay, what? Okay. I don't trust the game. It definitely feels like the... Oh, hi. Yeah, come here. That didn't work, but whatever. I want it. Okay. Um... Well, that did not work out the way I wanted to. I'm going to stay on this side now. Okay, I can get rid of you. Jump past you. Taking it easy. I want you gone. That works. I'll take a checkpoint get you out of here. Okay, so there's two there. feel so sorry for these animals. For the animals. Because, like, that one has saws grinding in his... Grinding in his shell. Look at that. That is not cool. Alright. Um. Whoa. Alright. There we go. Do that. Do that. Nice. All right, that's it. Okay, so 27 boxes at the end of the split. 13 lives. We're not doing too bad. We could definitely be doing a lot better. But I am happy with the progress that we are making. All right, so we just need to get over this bird. There we go. Now, there is a checkpoint right there. Perfect. Now, can I? I cannot. They they made it so you cannot jump over onto the side. But I can do that. That's good to know. <laughs> the falling animation. Yeah, he doesn't hover in the air, and I'm not sure if I like that or not. 
Okay, so what we need to do is bounce on the middle one, come down here. That was pretty good. Hit this one. Grab the life. We'll bounce on the middle one again. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. One, two, three, four. All right. There we go. That is it for the bonus round. That was, wow, that was a good chunk of the boxes in the level. We have the crystal. We'll do this. Oh, really? Okay, so it starts me at the bonus round, which is pretty nice. All right. I just don't want to have to deal with the pit. All right. There we go. That'll make the time trials easier since I can't seem to get over the pits. All right. We might be able to get the first boss in this video, which would be great because then it's only like three videos so far of Crash 2 and we'll be like 20% through. Granted, we started that way with... Um, Crash one, and then uh, things just went downhill. All right, nothing there. Still nothing there. This is probably going to be where Coco's time machine comes into play. All right, Crash Dash. I believe this is the boulder level. Sliding can help you move faster. Yep. Now, if I remember correctly, these are the levels that we want to actually get really far ahead. Yeah, sliding. I got it. Uh, yeah, we're not supposed to do that, but whatever. Oh, boulders, I've missed you. Seems like only about 10 videos ago we had you. Honestly, I don't need to do the slide right now, so. Pretty good. Whoop, whoop. All right. Jeez, Crash is terrified. Oh, Nitros. And I think this is it for this boulder. Yes, it is. And that is not the one that we go after, so. Ah, uh, very reminiscent of the first game's bone rounds. That did not work the way I wanted it to, but whatever. They need to make those harder. <laughs> two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Grab that. Thank you very much. Two lives. I'll take it. Wee. Wee. <laughs> All right. Nine boxes left. We can do this. Ooh, not what I wanted, though. I didn't want to crouch 
there. I mean, whatever, I'll take it. Never mind, I'll die. That is fine. Now, what is the, uh, who's the first boss? Is that Rip, uh, Ripperoo? I think it is. Seem to be not jumping at the correct time there. Kind of a shame. I should take a look and see like what the normal trophies are for this level. There we go. Or not not this level, but this game. Ooh, made it. All right, we've pretty much cleared out the first warp zone. Warp room. I mean, we have the we have the five relics to collect, but I mean, there's no point in us going for them when I do know that we do get the crash dash in this game. Because I, I have watched like two reviews, two, three reviews of the crash, trins, uh, crash trilogy and they do say that you do get the crash boots in Crash 1. Oh! That's weird. Why would they do that? Why not? Like, it made more sense when it was between warp zones. Whatever. We'll, we'll fight Ripperoo. Sure. I was not expecting that to be the boss area. You shouldn't play with Nitro Box. He shouldn't play with Nitro Boxes, and neither should you. Well, he did get his, uh, he did get his PhD. And yet, for some reason, he decided to go crazy. This will not take long at all, so. Acceleration is velocity over time. Yep. Force equals mass times acceleration. What the heck is that one over there? A, acceleration plus... Two velocity time plus something acceleration. I... Mass times acceleration is less than something up on the top. Top. Ooh. Never noticed those details before. Granted, they may not have been in the first game. I don't know why I was standing there. Like I was looking at, I was looking at the equations because I'm like, oh, this is interesting, and just was not paying attention at all. Never noticed that they were bookshelves on the end. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna assume I have to be over here again. I don't know where he gets his uh glasses from again but whatever I wish I could read some of the book titles that are on the edge oh okay there we go all right so TNT I don't have to worry about Oh, why am I even bothering with that? Okay. I think we want to be here. There we go. Professor Pulverized. All right. I'll take it. We're one-fifth of the way through the game in terms of... Uh, 
in terms of bosses. So that's fun. Okay. So now I go up through the center console, right? Up, please. Snowbiz. Air crash. Barrett. Crash crush. Eel deal. Yay. Uh-oh. <laughs> I see that Ripper Roo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered. Twenty to be exact. The planets will align shortly, all thirteen of them. And this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Crash, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise, Crash. I can't keep the data path open much longer. Crash, you need to... Find Why'd you why'd you have to do a uh um why'd you have to do a hologram when when you're standing right here? Huh? Yes, I want her to join my adventure. Are you are you stupid? Again, this is Coco's insane trilogy, not crashes. There we go. And a helping paw. Thank you very much, buddy. I need those lives. So, Snowbiz, Air Crash, Barrett, Crash Crush, and Eel Deal. Ooh, that one has the green gem in it. I don't remember how to get that. Box gem, box gem, box gem and hidden gem, and box gem. Okay, so when we come back, more of Coco's Insane Trilogy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then.